Judgment Day video game review. 1991. Two, sorry. This follows the same plot as the movie, essentially, with, you know, a reprogrammed T-800 going back in time to protect a young John Connor from the T-1000. The game starts in the future with an adult John Connor fighting his way into Skynet by himself, you know, fighting off flying HKs and wandering T-800s with plasma rifles, excuse me, and... You know, he reprograms the T-800, and from that point on, the game has you playing as the T-800. And yes, you do get to fight the T-1000. And yes, it is glorious. The game is a pretty basic side-scrolling shooter with, you know, relatively minimal sort of movement and features. You can shoot up, you can shoot while, whilst crouching and jumping, and you can shoot to either side, and that's essentially it. You do want to watch your health bar though, because the health you leave the first level with is the same amount of health you start next level where you have a health bar with. So, yeah, there, there is no getting health back in this game at all. If you lose too much health in an early level, you might just not have, stand a chance at all in later levels. The game tends not to give you an additional chance. There, the the couple of segments where you reprogram the T eight hundred, you get two chances with each of those, which is really good because they're among the hardest in the entire game. Actually, the game kind of just you know increases exponentially in difficulty over the course of the game. You know, it never really lets up. But yeah, the, you know, the reprogramming, is, reprogramming the T-800 chip is basically the single most evil game of pipes ever programmed. In those, you do have two chances. Except for that, you die, you die. That's it. You know, or you fail to live up to the, you know, you don't make it in the time limit. Or, you know, yeah. Pretty much each level has a challenge, and if you fail that, you're just dead, you know. The, the graphics, sound, and music are, of course, all limited by just the, the format and, you know, the, when, when it was made. But this is still a very enjoyable and really challenging game that chases through some of your favorite scenes from Terminator 2 and... It's definitely worth playing if you're up to the challenge and you can find it. If you like this review and want a more detailed one, check below. It's there as a video response. If not, it'll be in the description box. Please rate and comment. And hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.